YouTube and the internet, we thank God for each and every one of your very, very precious life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Before we get into the Word, we're going to continue the series, Man Lost of Power. As usual, I need your help on in four areas, amen, as we send a petition to the Lord. And as usual, as a remind us, why do we send a petition to the Lord? Because there are many things in this life we cannot get past. It is too big, too vast. We're not designed to do it on our own. That's why the Lord Jesus said in the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 7 and 8, Apart from me, you shall do nothing, not something. You simply, He didn't design us to just go off and do it on our own. Like it or not, it is the way. It's why He said, I hate pride, amen, and those that are proud because you're trying to do something you're not designed to do. And just wasting time, hurting yourself, hurting people. Amen. And people don't, and God don't get the glory that it should get if you do it correctly. God alone, amen, is absolute. He's, he's omnipotent. Amen. He's omnipresent. He can be everywhere. We can only be one place at a time. We are definitely not omnipotent. We are the opposite of that. Limited. Limited. And he's, amen. And he's omnipotent, all knowing, all knowing. We know in part, as Paul said, we see in part, we understand in part, therefore we can only do it part. We never see the full picture. So we can waste time and try to do things limited, you know, not knowing in part. Or we can ask one who is always willing and capable, and he give us a way if we're not walking right or do it. He said, just get one or a few people, amen, or just one other person to join the petition you're trying to get my attention with, and he said, you'll get my attention and I'll do it. Amen. So in St. Matthew's chapter 18, verse 19, God, so whatsoever you're dealing with, if you can get, amen, one or two people to come in agreement with you, he said, he will support us from heaven and get it done. And it's always better to do it from his perspective, in his hand and our hands, because of our limitation, lack of understanding and power. Amen? There are four areas I'm asking you to join your faith with me this morning, and I would like to join my faith with you. We live in a rams that have been in torment and uproar for thousands of years. And we need God to get his hands on it, amen, and deal with it. But as we see, we, we're going to see later on, we talk about in the book of Genesis, God gave man the authority. You need to give back God that authority to deal with the matter. The matter has become far beyond our control since we fall. So, the four years I'm asking you to um, join amen, your faith with me. Is anyone suffering loss right now? In whatsoever way they are suffering loss, amen, God will extend the grace they need and they will have the power they need to get through this time. Amen. They will have the support. They will have everything they need to pass through this very difficult time and seasons in their life when they're suffering, whether it's a lot of loss, amen, or, or, or a little, but they can have the support to get guided them through this process. If anyone's suffering any kind of ailment during this time, that God will give them the grace they need to be recovered and stay healthy. They will be healed and continue to be healed. And for all of us suffering no kind of ailment or no loss, amen, Let's give thanks, given unto the Lord, that He will continue to keep us that way. Let His face and countenance forever shine upon us as He leads us into enlightenment. And there's one very important. This one makes the Apostle Paul in, in Ephesians 3 say, For this I go on my knee. For all of us in leadership position, that the Lord, according to Malachi, will control our spirit by His Spirit. So the decisions, we it's the Spirit, after all, that gives us life and inspires us and gives us understanding. So we want that dimension to be controlled by God. And why? Because God alone is good. Amen? When the rich man asked Jesus, Amen, what do I need to be, Amen? Or tell him you are good, or what do I need to be good? Jesus said, only God is good. So we want to make sure if you want to be effective in this world and not to be in conflict with God and benefit humanity, that your spirit, the highest dimension where life is flowing, is controlled by the Lord's Spirit. So you will make good decision that will create good outcome and good effect upon you, others, amen, the ranks and glorify God. Because you were made very good. So the things you do or manifest or bring forth should be good. But unfortunately, we have become skewed by sin. Something influences us. As this is why Paul said in Romans 7, the good I intend and I want to do, I can never do. It's like having good food in something, lace in it, amen, or infect it. This is what happened to man. So as a result, it's not man don't have a desire. Paul said, I have the desire to do good. I believe most people have a strong desire for the most part to do good. But they find themselves in Romans 7. The good they want to do, they can never do. And I believe most people have the desire not to do things that are not good or bad. 
But yet Paul said, the thing that I hate and I don't want to do, and he said, actually, that the things that I loathe, I, I literally hate them. He said, those are the things I find myself on. I'm doing all the time. He said, I'm forever doing it. He said, I don't want to lie. I lie. I don't want to cheat. I cheat. I don't want to, you know, uh, not maximize time or what. He said, but these are the things I do. And this happens because, I mean, man, though he was born good, he got infected, and, and, now, and that, that infection has been flowing through thousands and thousands of years, impacted man's ability to put good, good output in spite of he having an excellent desire and a willingness to want to do it. Amen? We'll talk a little bit about that. So thank you for uniting your faith in these four areas with me, that the Lord will control where I decide and, and release things from so I can do the good I was designed to do, because you were designed to do good. There's a reason why you can't do it and why we, the planet reflects. We don't do much good. We destroy the planet. We destroy ourselves. We destroy family. We destroy nation. We destroy government. You, you know, it just seems to be a destructive force, but it's not the way we were made and definitely not what we were intended for when God made us. In the Bible, the Bible shows in creation, God made everything and, and it was good, but when he made man, he got man. He is very good. So how could this be that he came that was made so very good? do so much bad. And this happens because of the infection. Let's pray this morning. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for giving us an opportunity to stand in your presence. Thank you for sanctifying us continuously, spirit, soul, and body, by your word that is truth and the washing of the Holy Spirit as you keep directing our heart into your love and Christ's patience and perseverance. This morning I bring four petitions to you, Father. I want to thank you for extending your great favor, blessing, and protection for everyone, Father, that is suffering loss in this time. In whatsoever way they're suffering, whether it's in the spirit, the soul, the body, family, administration, Father, extend your grace to them, hold and keep them, support them, Father, upheld them, bring them through the season and time. Place them on solid ground that they can go forth, glorify and magnify and according to what you intended man to do. Being a good being, representing you, believing good, thinking good, acting good, manifesting good, so your name is glorified because of the creation you have created and placed upon the work. Man can't stop testifying of the work of your hands, Father. And you can be proud of your children and your creation continuously. Thank you for laying hold of us right now in the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you for this, Father. Thank you for the support, Father. And for anyone suffering any kind of ailment right now, thank you for healing them in the name of Jesus and keeping them healed, healthy and sound continuously in the name of Jesus. For all of us suffering no ailment or loss, thank you for continuously favoring us, letting your face shine upon us as you lead us into enlightenment. Though we live in a realms of consistent deducting, Father, it deducts from your spirit if you're not careful and your soul and your body and your belief and your thoughts and your family and your resource, it seems to be consistent dissipation. Yet you continue to keep us, watch over us, let your face shine upon us as you lead us into enlightenment. So we praise you and glorify you and magnify you, even as we operate in this place. Because you constitute us to go forward, continuously overcoming, to be counted among the overcomers. We thank you, Lord. We also, Father, want to thank you, Father, for controlling our spirit by your spirit so we will always live in alignment with your will according to your purpose, using your thoughts and executing thy action in so doing and being glorify you continuously, Father. We just want to praise you this morning for the thoroughness of the work. I know you have equipped the church to do your will. I know you work through that equipment to accomplish all that is pleasing in your sight. You have equipped the church, making the Lord Jesus our life, our light, our righteousness, our peace, our joy, our way of staying and being consistently and habitually in the Holy Spirit, our constant sanctification, our constant redemption and wisdom as we live and walk before you. This morning I ask you to prepare the field, prepare the hearts to receive your word and grant me the grace that your son will flow, Father. It is he who dwells in us richly, your expression, Father. Father, given us light and given us understanding, it is forever the lamp of our feet and the light of our path. Let your expression, your word and power go for this morning. Let it take root into the hearts you want it and the lives you want it to take. Let those lives and hearts bring forth an harvest in alignment with your will, whether it's 30 times, 60 times, 100 times, or 1,000 times, or a billion times, according to thy will. Be glorified in all the seeds and all the harvest. Let the enemy not be able to infiltrate the harvest. Let him have no inroad activities or influence upon us or anybody connected to us, Father. But let your Son who establishes be glorified and magnified in all the planting throughout the realms and in all the fruitfulness because of the planting. To you I place these fields and your seed, Father. 
No one can snatch anything out of your hands. We just praise you and glorify you and thank you for the thorough work you continue to do. The infilling of the Holy Spirit and the leading of the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus that removed the guilt, the shame, and all the iniquity and the grace upon grace, favor and blessing, Father. Let us cling to Jesus so we be counted among the overcomers, overcoming the world and the evil one. To you be the glory, the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' name we say, Amen. 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 Amen.